Well, just to set our work in some sort of context, St Eunan's Primary is situated in Clydebank, which is an area of deprivation. And if we look at the Scottish Index of Multiple Deprivation, um, we see that 60% of our children actually live in the bottom, the lowest two deciles. And I do mention this purely to set our work in context. We never use it as an excuse. It's, it's there. The importance of education is clear, opens up many opportunities and helps us all to develop the skills we need to be successful in life. Yet, despite the goals of Article 28, there are still 58 million primary age children not in school. My name is Amal Azuddin. Um, I was involved with the kids from St. Unions because uh, Claire Dunphy, the teacher, invited me and Rosa, one of the Glasgow girls, um, to go and speak to them about our campaign um, when we started uh, a campaign at school when we were 15 uh, to get our friend back because she was dawn raided and detained and she was about to be deported. Um, so we've been campaigning for 10 years and um, Claire obviously knew about our story and she wanted us to go and speak to the young kids at St Unions and talk to them about how to go about a campaign. It started as a whole school topic on the rights of the child. Um, so we looked at Article 28, Every Child Right to an Education, and um, we looked further into that and we realised that not every child was receiving an education and that angered us and it made us want to really make a difference. Did you know there are an estimated 186 million child labourers worldwide? Did you know there are an estimated 250,000 child soldiers in the world? Clearly something has to be done. The first people that we involved um, as partners in the campaign and the ideal were the Glasgow girls, um, two of the Glasgow girls, Amal and Rosa, um, and we asked them to come in really to inspire the children um, so that they um, could see that there was a positive um, example in their local community of young people um, making a difference. We are Sam and Robin K Kennedy's parents um, and we're here to support their rights for children all over the world to an education. Uh -huh. um, they've been do doing this topic in school for the last few months um, and it's made a real difference in their learning. Um, it's opened up opportunities for them. They've learned how to speak in front of people. Um, out in big crowds, which I wouldn't have thought they could do, um, and I'm delighted at, um, and also made them more interested in what's happening in the news and in newspapers and things. So when we've been looking at texts in class, for example, um, you know, when they were finding out about the barriers to children's education, we were actually able to use quite high level newspaper articles, reports, um, you know, about child soldiers or poverty, gender inequalities, um, and you know the children because they were had that genuine interest in, in the topic it really allowed them to to explore at a deeper level and for you know for us as teachers to um, you know really foster high level discussions in the class. The teachers do believe in you and they, it's not like inside the classroom they're taking you out to all different places and they have gathered so much support um, for going to different places and like they've also helped us to like develop our confidence because without them we wouldn't be going to different places and reading out our speeches so powerfully. And I think they're doing an amazing job and I think the school should take the credit and especially the teachers um, for allowing them to do that because not every school does that you know and not every teacher actually listens to what the young people want and you know what they're passionate about and you know gives them guides them even um, and gives them the platform and the opportunity to do something about it rather than just kind of brushing it off and saying well you know that's not for young kids or politics is not for young kids kind of thing but it is it's for everybody from the society that asks them to work and walk miles and miles a day just for water food for their families we will not stop until these children like us receive their basic human right to an education the, the children also um, had strong links with local um, politicians and were fortunate enough to be invited to the Scottish Parliament um, and on that day they were able to deliver their um, bundle of signatures, the thousands of signatures that they've managed to collect and because of that they were supported by the politicians that they presented to, um, in particular John Finney who actually wrote a, a lovely blog um, and put it on his website about the children, about their passion and commitment and how 
you know, the whole political literacy um, that the campaign has allowed the children to, to explore and to develop um, was just fantastic and fabulous. Using kids as soldiers constitutes one of the most disgraceful breaches of those rights. The situation is even worse for girls. There are still 31 million girls of primary school age out of school. 17 million of these girls are never expected to even enter school. How would you feel if your sister or daughter was in this situation? Well, because before I came into primary seven, I never really tried my best on my writing, and that I was more laid back. But then when we started the campaign, it made me like want to try a bit better because there's some children that don't get the chance. So like I started trying harder and writing more in my writing. And like in reading, I started to ask if I could try the harder text rather than the easier one and figured out later on that I was really good at analysing and ev evaluating texts with just little support. And I've moved up a whole level in my writing now. So for me, learning for sustainability is really about learning for a better world. And you know, there are so many different ways in which to achieve, to achieve that with the children in your class. Um, first of all, it really is about providing them with the opportunity and experience to practice the values that you, you know, yourself as a teacher, um, want to instil in the children. But actually, giving them the opportunity to practice, whether it be, you know, the values of social justice, um, you know, the, the determination really to for equality around the world, um, you know, and to do that, you really need to develop children's knowledge of the world around them, um, you know, especially as you know, children, for us, we had obviously primary seven, you know, young adults, they really need to have a, a good understanding of the world around them and, you know, explore the, the barriers, whether it be to children's education or inequalities and with food or, you know, anything, whatever it might be, but for them to actually have that deep understanding themselves of the world around them, you know, then they can really use their values and their, their skills and their determination to, to make, make a difference. Um, you know, and, and to have that confidence that really they can do something and make a difference and make the, the world a, you know, a better place.